Hi guys, I'm just going over to my mate's wrenches now um, to see what I can do with this wrench. So I purchased it, it's had a vapor rust, it's had a, it's had a wire wheel, um, and I'm going to try and see if Reggie can build that up a little bit so I can reprofile it. So we'll see how we get on with that, and I'll re-inform you how we get on in a bit when I'm back from Reggie's. Um, Hopefully, when it's finished, it will come out and it will look like its younger brother. Um, fingers crossed on that. Um, so, really looking forward to seeing what Re if Reggie can build it up back a bit. We'll give it a go. Alright, hopefully I'll see you back in a few seconds. Bye. Right, we're back. I've just been to my mate Reggie's. Um, he's just put a spot of weld back on there. Um, it looks like he's done a good job. Um, it's stuck pretty well. It's still pretty pretty warm. Um, so I can get on grinding this now um, and give it a polish and hopefully make it as nice as this one. So hopefully I'll be back shortly with a nice restored wrench. Bye. Hi guys, we're back from the workshop. Um, been grinding. Um, before, if you remember, we went over to uh, my mate Reggie's and um, this was all this corner was missing so he's just put a weld on it I've ground it off um, and I've done a bit of a polish job on the actual wrench itself um, not too bad you see there was a gap in my tape there I need to buff that off um, but it's not too bad the, the letters were very not very raised so I decided to go over it with a bit of pen for what Ben Mall did with the gold pen I'm going to see if I can get some of that silver pen Ben Mall had but yeah, I um, went over that. Um, looks pretty good. Um, if you remember, I paid £9.99 plus £4.50 postage. And it came with this wrench here, which I wasn't massively bothered about. Um, and I already had the uh, bigger brother, the little brother. Um, so I was super pleased with that. This is the uh, Baco 90. I mean, I can't believe that this wrench was patented in 19, 1888, 132 years ago, and it's still being made today. It's an amazing wrench. I'm super happy to have the 90 and the 91. Um, and I think that's the modern equivalent of a WPZ1, and that's the W, uh, no, PWZ1 and a PWZ0. So... It's the uh, modern equivalents. They're still making them today, 130 years after they were originally purchased. And I think that's absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with the restoration. Um, they've came out great, works great. Um, and I'm really pleased to have the pair of them. I mean, I'm, uh, there's still some other backhoe ones I'm gonna keep my eye out for. Um, Nash Rathbone got a really nice, um, like adjustable pipe wrench. Um, with a, like an, a rounded top on it um, so I keep my eye out for something like that but yeah super happy it's still got you see the same knurl rings the same everything so super happy with that um, thanks for watching appreciate you if you got this far in the video okay bye